Hello, today we are going to talk about perseverance. In moments of suffering, do not give up. In this section, Capsula para el alma, which I will translate it in English, Pills for your soul, with the subject of perseverance is, what can I do in the moments of suffering? Do you know that God has a purpose for your pain, for your sufferings? Don't give up. There is a reason, a real good reason for your sufferings. And you might say, how this can be? If God wants us happy, but do you know by suffering also, you can find joy in your sufferings. Just don't give up. Jesus will give you the strength and the courage to keep on going. God is still writing in your story of your life. Do not let your faith fail because of what you're going through those difficulties, maybe a sickness, maybe prob problems in your marriage or family members that might not even speak to you, or even you might not have the enough money to pay that monthly rent and you're worried about it. You lost a job. There are many situations that people go through. I don't know which one is yours, but I do know that I can tell you, with the love of Jesus Christ, do not give up. Let's read uh, one of the gospel in St. Luke, in chapter five, verses four to seven, which it says like this. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out the de into deep water and lower your nets for a cash. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing, but at your command, I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets were tearing the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Isn't that amazing? Peter was a fisherman. He had experience being a fisherman. He knew where to find the fishes. But that night, he didn't even caught, not even one fish. How can we compare this with our spiritual life about praying and to persevere and not to give up? If you notice in this gospel, Peter, wanted to give up. He said, that's it. There's no fish. But Jesus then approached to him and said this words. Peter, put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. What did Peter respond? We've been fishing all night and we have not caught anything. But in your command, I will throw the nets. And that's when Peter noticed that he caught so many fish. In our prayers, we have many situations and we ask Jesus to help us to answer our prayers. And we might even say, I've been praying all night and I have not received an answer. But Jesus says again, go again, profound, go and bend your knees. It's like saying, bend your knees. Obey my command, I'm there for you. Just obey, trust, persevere, don't give up. Jesus wants to fill the net of your life. Have you persevered in prayers? It's not about praying just one or two or twice. It's trusting in Jesus and putting your life in his hands. If you need to cry, do so. There's moments that we need to cry. We need to cry out, Lord Jesus, I need you. 
In my own experience, I also have situations, family members that doesn't go to church, or even situation in my own life of when I want something. And I feel that the answer is, the, my petition is not answered. But I understand that if I persevere and trust in Jesus, He will know when is the moment, the right moment to answer our prayers. And believe me, His answer is the best. Not what we want to hear is what's best for each one of us. I want to invite you to keep on praying. Don't give up. Trust in Jesus like Peter did when he, in Jesus' name, threw out again the net and caught many fishes. You can also catch many blessings from Jesus Christ if you don't give up. Remember, Jesus is there for you. Trust in Him. Don't give up and persevere. That's what we must do because He will never let us down. Put your family in His hands. Put your own situation in His hands. Put your problem in His hands and you will see miracles because miracles happen every day it's all about not giving up, trusting, and persevering in Jesus' hands. May God bless you.